Hey, what's up everybody? Joshua Casper back at you with Plugin Boutique and today we're checking out Voltage Modular by Cherry Audio. And this is a really, really sweet virtual modular setup similar to something like SoftTubes Modular where you've got all of your different modular devices and you can route them just like you would if you had a Euro rack at your house or something. So in this video tutorial series, I'm gonna get you started with these racks. My goal here isn't to make the most incredible sounding patches ever. It's just to get you up and going and started inside of it. You know, some people get a little bit frustrated when they look at something like this and they're like, they just want sound. They just want sound to happen and then they can move forward from there. And it's a little bit difficult if you don't know what's going on. So. We're gonna go ahead and start something new right now. All right, so here we are inside of the key layout. It's the base layout. There's nothing really going on except for these key kind of modules up here at the top that are gonna be inside of every project anyway. I am using the standalone version, but you can use this as a VST inside of your DAW as well. So the first thing we're gonna do is go ahead and make a drum loop. And we're gonna do that using a step sequencer and a mixer and some uh, different modules and stuff. So the first thing I want to do is come over here to the search bar and this voltage modular system comes with 101 I believe uh, different modules inside of here so it's pretty epic. I'm gonna go ahead and just type in mixer. I got my console mixer and I can click and drag or I can hit add and there we go. So I've got a 12 channel mixer right here, two auxiliary sends and in the next video tutorial we're gonna set those up but for right now I just want to go ahead and set up some drums to get something cooking. So the next thing I do is type in sequencer and drum trigger sequencer. And this is pretty familiar, I hope, for most of you. We, you know, we trigger samples or uh, instruments by clicking these buttons. It's a step sequencer, this, that, and the other thing. So what we need to do is put some instruments inside of here. And if I type in 909, for example, I've got my transistor 909 kick. If I add that, the routing's pretty simple here. I'm gonna take the gate and trigger in. So the gate is a signal, which can also be called the trigger, okay? So now if I click right here and hit play, it's going to trigger this instrument right here. You can see the little LED light up right there. That means it's triggering. So that means we're, we got stuff working. And now what we wanna do is come from the output into our mixer. So channel one's going to be our 909 kick. And the last thing we need to do is go from the output of the mixer into the main outs right here. And if I go ahead and press play now, we've got our 909 kick. And we've got all of these controls. We've got pitch, decay, uh, the noise, which is gonna be like kind of the attack transient versus the body. You got a bunch of controls really over the kick. I'm not gonna, again, dwell on this for right now because I just wanna get something cooking. So we're gonna go ahead and put in a snare now. And I got transistor 808 snare. And we're gonna do the same thing for gate B, trigger in, output, channel two, and go ahead and light some stuff on fire. All right, so we can come over here to the mixer and turn things down and start mixing and getting the right levels and stuff. But before we continue doing stuff like that, let's put in some hats. Hats right there. Again, we're gonna come out of here. And we've got this one, we got a little bit more options. We got closed hi-hat or open hi-hat triggers, you know what I mean? So we, can, we have more than just single closed hats here. We also have the hi-hat open as well. If I could go ahead and put that right there and let's just put some simple, something simple in here. Maybe something like this. All right, so that's the very, very basic setup for getting some drums going. Now we can do some more to process these drums inside of the voltage system. For example, maybe we wanna compress that kick. So I've got a compressor right here. So instead of going out to my mixer, I wanna go out to the input of the compressor and then output of the compressor into that channel. So now we have a compressor on our kick. And in fact, if I go ahead and clear the search results, you can see here we've got some quick access to say effects. If I click effects, you can see all the different types of effects right here. So if I wanted to add a chorus to my hats or anything like that, we could do that. Phaser, limiter, 
and things of that nature. So I'm gonna leave the video here, and in the next video, I'm gonna show you how to set up the uh, auxiliary sends, so send and return system, and maybe even a compressor there as well, just so we can get full control over that output master signal before it actually leaves the, uh, the system here. So look for that in the next video. And then in the third video, we're gonna go ahead and set up an oscillator and have a trigger using the step sequencer as well so we can get a little bit of a baseline. So that's what you got to look forward to. So anyway, I'm Joshua Casper here for Plugin Boutique. Let's jump into that next video. Thank you.